Now on its 8th generation, the Volkswagen GTI is returning in the form of being modernized, facelifted, and a little edgier than in the past. Trying to replace the legendary Mark 7 isn't going to be easy, and the expectations for the 2022 model are higher than ever. But in the midst of drawing criticism for its controversial road presence and less than user friendly infotainment system, there's a lot going for the Mark 8 GTI that could help retain its title as being the best hot hatch you can buy on the market today. For the skeptics, it's going to require time to get used to the new aspects and characteristics that the GTI embodies. But for those looking to upgrade from the Mark 7, this sporty compact might be worth taking a look at. So here are 5 reasons why you should buy a 2022 Volkswagen GTI. Your first thought that comes to mind when discussing the Mark 8 GTI is what incentives are there to trade in for another generation? Or if it's your first GTI, why should I join the Volkswagen family? Simply put for 2022, this hot hatch got even hotter when it comes to performance. And while on paper, the 241 horsepower and 273 pound-feet of torque isn't all that impressive or a significant boost compared to last year, it's the driving dynamics that ultimately has made this sporty compact more enjoyable to take on winding back roads. If you own a stock Mark 7 GTI, you probably notice that in the corners there's some body roll, especially at higher speeds. And for a car that has a sports tuned suspension, it's a bit frustrating when you're fully engaged behind the wheel and the roads are wide open. Now with the chassis being stiffened by about 5% up front and 15% in the rear, the GTI feels more flat in corners and inspiring confidence when on a spirited drive. But also the steering has been given some added weight, a characteristic we see very often in true German sports cars. It's worth noting that like we experienced with the new Audi S3, the GTI has essentially a sport and sport plus mode, where to get the best performance you need to make sure the transmission is also in sport. This unleashes aggressive gear shifts and makes you forget that you're driving a hatchback with a 0-60 acceleration time above 5 seconds. Owners of modified Mark 7 GTIs may beg to differ. But for 2022, this hatchback is more dynamic in every way pertaining to performance. It's quicker to respond, agile in the corners, and has a bit more bite off the line. While a handful of mods for the Mark 7 will bridge the gap and make up for the inadequacies, if you're just looking for a fun daily driver and have no plans of touching it mechanically, the Mark 8 is going to be a blast on country backroads and providing a capable driving experience not seen from prior generations. One of the draws to owning a GTI in the past was its simplistic and analog interior layouts where you didn't need the most up-to-date technology or soft touch padding to get excited when going out for a drive. Heavily disputed for the 2022 model, however, is the fact that for the most part, the dashboard, center console, and interior tech is all new, with some GTI loyalists not being too pleased at the lack of physical buttons for the infotainment system. While there are drawbacks, the refreshed look brings a lot to the table, such as the full digital gauge cluster that resembles what we see throughout the Volkswagen Audi family. The resolution and quality is arguably unrivaled, and the fact that you can customize pretty much every aspect of this display makes the GTI feel a bit more upscale. The addition of a head-up display for the Autobahn trim was certainly needed, and by offering the Harman Kardon premium audio system, you can enjoy listening to your favorite music. The user interface, on the other hand, has its strengths and weaknesses, where it's more in-depth than the prior model year. There's new graphics, sub-menus, and features, such as ambient lighting. Yet even with new eye candy, the lack of buttons forces you to reach for the touchscreen. And since there's no dials for the climate control settings, you have to tap on the touch-sensitive buttons to find the ideal temperature. There's no disputing the fact that Volkswagen complicated what was once an easy-to-use head unit and dashboard. However, on the surface at least, the GTI's interior is more tech-driven than most vehicles in this price range. And while modernizing the cabin may be a bit controversial, the Mark 8 does resemble the more expensive Audis it shares platforms with. The 
Mark 7 GTI will forever be looked at as the best generation in the modern era for this hatchback. But for American enthusiasts, there's been some level of disappointment that this car was made in Mexico. While build quality and durability was never called into question and reliability was not a real issue for those who kept their GTI stock, some owners wondered what could have been as European customers received models made in Wolfsburg. Thankfully for the Mark 8, we now get German-made GTIs. And while possibly anecdotal on the surface, there is a noticeable improvement and you feel that when stepping inside and closing the door. When taking a deeper dive into Volkswagen's MQB platform, the part sharing with Audi is far more apparent as the center console is pretty much identical to the A3 and S3 and it's that closer resemblance to its cousins where the GTI has a mature demeanor compared to last generation. While we can get caught up in the aesthetics and the lack of physical buttons, the 2022 model does exude a sense of sophistication and individualism when looking at its lineage. Some may be quick to say, made in Germany or Mexico, there's no real difference. However, for those hopping in from a Mark 7, a short test drive quickly showcases what has changed, and that's the ride quality, interior comfort, and certainly a keen focus on improving the mechanical side to this hatchback to make it an exceptionally fun car without diluting the brand or its DNA. As a GTI owner myself, one of the primary concerns when the Mark 8 was announced was that since it was still going to be built on the same chassis and underpinnings as the Mark 7, there'd be no real significant changes to differentiate both generations and that outside of looks and new tech, it would basically be the same GTI we all know and love. Thankfully, that wasn't the case. And in fact, during both test drives, the stiffer suspension, tighter steering, and more aggressive gear shifts were enough to get excited over. Objectively, you could say the Mark 8 has essentially been stage one tuned with an aftermarket rear sway bar. But that was exactly what I was hoping for. As stock versus stock, the 2022 model is clearly an upgrade and an improvement over the outgoing GTI. As we all know, pictures don't do a car justice, and that was the case for the interior. New infotainment system and digital gauge cluster aside, the freshly designed seats that are available in cloth plaid or Vienna leather upholstery do add a secure feeling, more so with the leather seats that provide aggressive bolstering and you won't find yourself sliding out of those bucket seats when cornering aggressively, as you will unfortunately experience that with the cloth seats. Most importantly, Volkswagen did enough where it feels like a different car, while at the same time retaining its compact and hot hatch dimensions, the same powertrain and similar interior quality, where overall the Mark 8 isn't drastically new, but it is a step forward. The GTI for 2022 is one of those cars where you can easily focus on the negatives and talk yourself out of liking and possibly buying one. However, despite all the criticism pertaining to the technology or looks, there is a legitimate reason as to why the Mark 8 might not be the perfect replacement for the vehicle you currently own. And that is pricing. At the very least, you're paying just around $30,000 for a base model. And sadly, even without markups, it's lost some of its charm as it's not the most attainable car for enthusiasts, which is a shame as this generation builds off the great legacy of its predecessor. When strictly talking about driving this hot hatch, Volkswagen addressed the weak spots where now it has Audi A3 and S3 tendencies and objectively does have the handling and performance that reflects its current price tag. The Mark 8 is far from perfect, but there's a lot to be excited and optimistic about as it's still one of the best options available in its segment. And while pricing has increased for this model, the same can be said for rivals as well. If you can look past the new front fascia and lack of physical buttons for the interior, you're gonna be commuting in a fun daily driver that all in all is an upgrade over the Mark 7. It will most certainly put a smile on your face every time you get behind the wheel. We hope you enjoyed this quick buyer's guide for the 2022 Volkswagen GTI. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos like this one. And if you're interested in buying a Mark 8 GTI or any other Volkswagen model, make sure to check out our full reviews to help you find your next vehicle. 
and thanks for watching.